I gave these speakers, the Nines from Klipsch, a pretty positive review, and I've been enjoying them very much ever since. But then this guy comes out with the video, basically calling into question my opinion, which got me wondering, am I one of the reviewers who got it wrong about the Nines? Well, we'll see about that. Welcome back everyone, I'm Caleb Dennison. Let me just say this right away. Andrew Robinson, whose video I referred to in the intro, is someone I consider a friend and is someone whose opinion I respect very much. This video you're watching right now is all in good fun and Andrew knows I'm making it. All above board, okay? With that said, Mr. Robinson posted his review of Klipsch's The Sevens and The Nines not too long after my review of The Nines was published. And when I saw it, especially that thumbnail, well, I felt attacked. You're triggering me right now, Andrew. Seriously though, Andrew's take on the nines versus the sevens, and Christie's as well, is that he prefers the sevens, and that you're better off saving a couple hundred bucks on speakers and using that reclaimed cash toward getting a subwoofer to go with the sevens, should you find that you want more bass than the sevens offer on their own. Andrew's position on the nines, meanwhile, is that they are a little chesty in the mid-range and mid-bass, and that at least some of that is due to some cabinet resonance that didn't go away even when connecting a subwoofer, which cuts a bunch of bass off from the speakers and sends it to the sub instead. Now, to be fair, I think I am tuning into the same thing Andrew is when it comes to the lower mid-range or the cabinet resonance thing, and I'll get to that in a moment, but having not yet heard the sevens myself, I'd not been able to make a comparison. And frankly, I was curious to hear the difference between the two for myself. So I asked Klipsch to send a pair of the sevens for the purpose of making that comparison and they accommodated my request. Now, if you're arriving at this video without any context of my prior review or Andrew's review and you just wanna see a comparison between the sevens and the nines, not to worry, I've got you covered. So the long and the short of it is that the nines, the sevens, and the even smaller, the fives, are all very similar in function. These are all powered speakers with just about every kind of input you might want, including HDMI, optical digital, USB, and analog connections as well. Plus, they include a phono preamp built in. Connect your TV, your turntable, your streaming box, or just use Bluetooth if you must. They are all very capable speakers that I think really fit with the vibe that a lot of folks are looking for these days. The difference among them comes down to size, right? As you go up from the fives to the sevens to the nines, the cabinet gets bigger. The horn for the tweeter gets bigger and the mid-range slash bass driver gets bigger as well. From five and a quarter inch in the fives to six and a half inch in the sevens, all the way up to an eight inch driver in the nines. Now, as you might expect, as the speaker gets bigger, its performance in the bass department changes. But while the sevens put out considerably more bass and deeper bass than the fives, the jump in bass response between the sevens and the nines is not as significant. I think this says more about the sevens than it does the nines, frankly. In fact, I agree that if you just want more bass than the very capable the sevens can produce, a subwoofer is a much more efficient and convenient way of going about that. Really, the only issue I have with the nines is that they are large speakers. And they kind of sit in an odd no man's land when it comes to conventional speaker sizes. They are far bigger than anything I would ever call a bookshelf speaker, but they aren't floor standing speakers either. You put the nines on Klipsch's very well made 24 inch stands and I mean, they take up quite a bit of space in your room. Now, I don't personally take issue with that. I have no problem with the size of the nines, but I know that it will be a concern for plenty of folks. The sevens are just a far less imposing speaker and thus likely to be more readily welcomed into one's home. So for myriad reasons, I agree the sevens are a more practical speaker and for many folks, the smarter purchase. And yes, add a subwoofer if you'd like. A sub will add a lot for movies and it can make music more rich, moving, and immersive as well. However, 
When it comes to the sound differences between the nines and the sevens, well, that's where my friends and I don't quite see eye to eye. We don't outright disagree necessarily, but I am having a different experience than they talk about, and I feel like it's worth talking about here, which is why I'm making this video. Now, in his video, Andrew wisely says, Now, your mileage may vary. Well, indeed, Mr. Robinson, my mileage is varying. And actually, this is not a surprise to either of us. We each have very different room setups. His is a different size and shape than my rooms are. His room is acoustically treated very differently than mine are, arguably better than either of my testing locations are, frankly. And the reason this is relevant, your room is going to be very different than either of ours or pretty much any other reviewer for that matter. And folks, maybe I haven't said this for a while on this channel, but your room will have a significant effect on the sound you get, sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worse, often for the better in some areas and the worse in other areas. That's just the bugger about acoustics. Anyway, back to my experience. Can we make it about me again? And by extension, how it is a bit different than what was described in Andrew's video. For me, the nines just have more presence and realism, and that's without being too forward. With vocals in particular, I get more of a sense that the singer is in the room with me on the nines than I do on the sevens. Also, the vocal just just has a touch more body on the nines. Male vocals in particular showcase this. I used a number of cuts featuring PJ Morton and noticed that his often baritone affect comes through better on the nines. Just by a smidge, but definitely noticeable. Also, and this could just be my room and setup, but the sevens created a peak in the upper mids that gave some vocals just the slightest hint of compression or I don't want to use the words honky or nasal because they don't go that far, but just an upper mid-range cut that I didn't get from the nines when placed in the exact same spot in the room. Frankly, I think the best way for me to put it is that the sevens sounded more CD and the nines sounded more vinyl to me. And that was whether I was actually playing digital music or vinyl, the actual media didn't matter. That impression is just what kept coming back to me. Now, that cabinet resonance, I hear it, but it is not a bother for me in the rooms in which I tested these speakers. And trust me, I hate cabinet resonance. In fact, cabinet resonance was the primary reason I didn't give the Monolith Encore T6 an absolutely glowing, just go buy them already recommendation in my review of those speakers. By the way, I should mention that I tested both speakers with a subwoofer as well. And sometimes I used the sub connected and other times I didn't. I just let the speakers cross themselves over, taking some bass out of the equation, but without the subwoofer getting to reproduce it. And even with the bass taken out of the equation, the nines still had my heart. All of this to say, I didn't get it wrong with the nines, not for me anyway. They are such a fun speaker. Listening to them is just like a big musical hug for me. I like the sevens too, but if I have to choose between the two, I'm picking the nines. Thanks as always for watching everyone. What do you think of this video? Do you like that I'm picking a little fight with Andrew Robinson? Would you like to see more collabs or reaction videos with other creators? Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And here's two other videos I think you might like.